In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an email address. The type of email address, like suppose your domain name is smorgasbord.com and you want to have an email that's set up called you know, john at smorgasbord.com or info at smorgasbord.com or smorgasbord at smorgasbord.com. I'm going to show you how to easily set that up and then how to check your email. Now, in a previous video, I introduced cPanel to you. So, if you haven't yet watched that video, watch this video and um, you'll understand how to log into cPanel and what cPanel is. So, I'm going to start this video assuming you know how to log into cPanel. And with that in mind, here's what this video is all about. This is how to create an email account of the form email at yourdomain.com and yourdomain.com can be any domain that you own or any domain you're trying to set up uh, but it's a domain that you own uh, you can't have like email at ebay.com because somebody else owns ebay.com now you also have name at anything you want.com and then we can also set up whatever you want at yourdomainname.com so basically it can be any email address at anything.com and you can set up as many of these things as you like. Some hosting accounts limit that, but for practical purposes, you have plenty of email accounts. And I'm going to show you how to set up the email account right now. So log into cPanel, and I've already done that. So when you log into cPanel, you're going to see a screen just like this. Now, to set up an email account, it's really easy. You just click on the mail icon and give it a minute. And then we want to go down to manage, add, and remove accounts. So let me click on this. Now this is the domain that I set up and you saw it in the other videos, pizzadeliverysecrets.com. So this is the domain that we're going to be creating an email address at. So let's set up the email address, superbrian at pizza delivery secrets.com that's the email address we want to set up super brian at pizza delivery secrets.com so go in here and just to show you again because I want to make sure you get it from the inside main screen of cPanel click on the mail icon go down to manage add remove accounts select that and then you want to go to add account. So we're just going to create a new one. There's already one created, but I want to show you how to create a new one. Email address. We wanted to call this Super Brian, and it's at pizzadeliverysecrets.com. So if there's only one domain that we can select. Password. I'm just going to make up a password. I'll just, for now, I'll leave it as Super Brian. If you ever try to contact that email address, I'm going to delete that email address right after this video is created. So don't try to email me at this email address because it won't exist. But for now, <clears throat> superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com. And we're just going to make the password superbrian. Let's make it superbrian9 so you know it's a different word. So superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com. And the password is superbrian9. So let's hit create. And here it tells you the email account, superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com with the login superbrian plus pizzadeliverysecrets.com and password superbrian9 was successfully created. So it tells us this email address superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com and the password right there it tells us what it is. So now we have an email address. So if I go back and hit refresh you'll see now there's this email account superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com it also has this main account in here and it's just called pizza Dell, and that means that the main address that they set up for you is already pizza Dell at pizzadeliverysecrets.com it doesn't put the at pizzadeliverysecrets.com because it's the main account it's understood so superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com is the email address that we just created. Now how do you check your email? Well, you can go back to this part and you can select read webmail and it tells me enter password for superbrian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com. Well our password was superbrian9 
9, and we hit login. And it gives you two email clients. Now you can select Horde or Squirrel Mail. It really doesn't matter. So I'll just pick Horde. Sometimes there's also one in here called Webmail, and you can also use that uh, depending on the hosting package that you have. And then here you'll see that it's a standard online account. And you know, it's just like like a Yahoo email address where you can click here to check your inbox. And Right now there's no messages because the account's brand new, but when you set this up, just go into another email account that you have and send an email here and make sure that it shows up in here. It may take a few minutes. It might take like five minutes for it to appear in here, but you want to test the email account to make sure it's working. After you've established that the email account works, you just come in here, check your email, and that's all there is to it. Now, there's another way to check your email. so. Let's just go to another web page. I'm going to rapid4x.com for a minute. And suppose I wanted to check my emails. I could type in www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash webmail. Okay, so webmail, W E B M A I L. And see, now it asks me username. Username, be careful, you want to put the full email account. So, super Brian at pizza delivery secrets dot com check to make sure you make sure you spelled it right because there's a lot of letters in there so I'm just gonna double check and the password was super brian nine and we hit OK and now it lets us in to check our mail and it gives us the option of horde or squirrel mail this time I'll just go into squirrel mail and it looks pretty similar it's a uh, different looking but they basically do the same thing there's a few different features so we can check our inbox and there's nothing in here because we just created this email account so that in a nutshell and no pun intended because it's squirrel mail I know that's a bad joke but in a nutshell that's how you set up an email account and that's how you check your email in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up an auto reply. So if somebody sends an email to one of your email addresses, you can customize an instant response message that gets automatically emailed to them. So if they're emailing the wrong address, you can say, you know, go to this web page and, and read an FAQ or something like that. So the next video shows you how to set up auto replies. And I just want to type this for you too. The way you check your email, so to check email go to www.yourdomainname.com forward slash webmail and I'm just gonna highlight the forward slash webmail because your domain name is gonna be different each time and then you just enter the full email address and the password and it'll let you in and check your email so you can still check your email from anywhere you are